Hello there guys, welcome to my Los Santos Roleplay screenshot tutorial using Photoshop. Today we're going to be using a 2012 version of Photoshop. This is just for those who have older versions of Photoshop, it doesn't have to be 2012. Anything ranging from around 2010 to 2017 should all be able to be used alongside this tutorial. So, let's get straight into it. Firstly, you're going to want to open a new canvas and to do that you're going to want to set your width to 800 and your height to 600 and then if you're going to be making multiple screenshots in the future I'd save this as a preset like see I have a preset here no different to what I've just showed you then we open it so as you see this will bring up a white canvas and from here we're just going to open up oh, we're just going to open up our screenshots so with Los Santos Roleplay, to take screenshots on Photoshop, you're going to want to hold uh, F10 and F then tap F8 to take a screenshot of the actual scene. And then you're going to want to do uh, slash font size space minus 3 and then slash blindfold and then take a screenshot with F8 of your text. So we'll open up the text really quickly. You're going to want both the scene screenshot and the text screenshot open. And as you can see, here is our text and here's our screenshot so you're going to want to use this rectangular select tool on the side here you're going to want to just highlight the entire screenshot and do control C to copy it then go to your new canvas and control V to paste it then you want to right click on what you've just uh, pasted and click free transform make sure to still be using this rectangular tool once you uh, while going to that then you want to click one of the corners hold down shift to keep proportions just scale it down a little bit so as you can see I've scaled it down here's my screenshot if you don't think that's in proportion just click on a different tool and click don't apply then redo it and there we go that looks like a decent screenshot so once you've actually got the sizing correct you're gonna want to click on a different tool and then click apply and there you go that's your screenshot made from here to add some text to it you're going to just want to go over to your text document click the select tool once again and highlight over the text while trying to avoid the timestamp as much as possible if you have timestamp on from here just control and see it to copy it go back to your new canvas and control V and as you see the text has arrived so then you're going to want to just move it around with this moving tool up here find the place you want to put it if it's over here on the side I like to keep mine up in the top left corner without actually touching the corner so leaving a sort of border around it then you're going to want to go over to your eraser tool which should look something like this you're going to want to right click it and you want to hit magic eraser tool then you want to change the tolerance to 40 and turn off all three of these boxes from here you just want to hover over the black spacing and click it that should get rid of all the black space on the back of your screen on uh, the back of your text sorry and then you're going to want to hit your selection tool again to get rid of the screenshot taken and advertisements and anything else you may have there that you don't want so what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to highlight over the piece of text you want to get rid of and hit delete and repeat this process for anything that you don't want on your screenshot to say I didn't want this little bit of text here where Billy and Clay are talking we can get rid of it don't like it you can control Z to put it back and retry so our next step here once you've chosen a position and got rid of everything is to click layers and double click the latest layer that you've placed on the canvas itself which will be your text I must add that if you're doing multiple text uh, like if there's multiple text documents that you're copying they will come on different layers so you're going to want to use everything after the actual screenshot background itself so we're going to double click here on the layer then we're going to click here on the right side of the word stroke that will tick the stroke box and take us to the stroke page you're going to want to change the size to one click OK and you can see it looks sort of like the Los Santos roleplay text and then you're going to want to uh, repeat this process for every text layer you have so after this obviously it's just saving the document and then you're all good thank you guys for watching i've been gravity magics